Right then, welcome back to Heads Gone. Uh, we are back after Ash has now recovered from um, eating all the hot sauces in the world. Feel good? Yeah, fine. It was a rough day. It was a rough day, day, yeah. I have to admit, you did tell me, and I felt like crap leaving here. Some of it was in bits, and then some else was in bits for a bit. What was the name of the sauces that we got from the, the geese around here, Dutch? Devil dogs. They were nice. They were nice. That wasn't an issue. That no, was, I, that I was might nice. try them on food. I swear to God, right, I'm, all my like hair standing, I feel cold and I think about that Dave's <laughs> shit. Honestly, Dave's is, like, oh. it's just punishment, isn't it? No, but it isn't, what it isn't, it isn't like approved by any food standard agency no, at it, all. No, it does actually say on the bottle that you can use it to clean your driveway. Well, it cleaned out some fucking mm. places, not the driveway. It was a rough day. It was. Un- I regret it completely. Do you know what? I might introduce it to the footy team instead of fines. Just do a shot of that. Shut the fuck up. I'd like to see a few of you all like do that because it's. It wasn't. It's. Do you know what was worse than the actual bit here? It's the rest of the day. It was just like a cramp in the stomach. Ah. Don't know how detailed the audience want to get, but not, 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 nothing comes out either. Nothing's come out. It's just there. Burning just, away. It, I felt like my insides were just being like blowtorched for the for the rest of the day. Next day was fine. Weren't worth it. And I, I, I stand on the fact that I won the races and I don't understand how I had to do that, but it's fine. I'm I think it's sport. like modern F1. That there's, there's all sorts of complications and rules to it and just winning the race ain't enough. True. But why didn't we just get the big fella to do it though? Be real? Oh, no. Tom. Oh, right. Why didn't we stick together as a pair and just already rig it that he's going to lose? It was good. That's a good idea. Thinking back, that's what we should have done. If yeah. we ever do anything like that again, they're going to lose. We bring a guest on. And we take the day just to us. Just fucking muller them. Just Let's put make it, it in his thing. eye. Make it our thing. I would have liked to have seen you just dropping Dave's hot sauce in Tom Clare's eye. I'm certain you lose your sight. Certain. Well, I've never been more sure of anything in my life that you you don't see anymore. And and also you have we, to get one of them Michael Bisping eyes. We really struggle f- for any kind of guest, and if and we that, just see him off, that's just finished. So it, so Tom Tom's he's doing well actually at Mac. Career's over. Because no one's a one eye striker. Just we got one on. You tell me a good one eye striker. Is it, is it? Is there any players with the, there must be of the uh, surely you need the depth perception to be a good striker you can't what? just be fucking doshing it over the bar and that's why you need two eyes Someone was, otherwise we'd all be cyclops up to fuck Ash no just you're just not going to see that side eye no it's the depth that's where you, you get the 3D from having two eyes slightly off centred you can't just have one big fucking lemon sized eye some players I watch week in week out wonder what if they've got one eye or two or what's going on name them <sighs> half of your team valid um, why wasn't that a goal against Swansea last night where the keepers dropped it on the striker because the rule states that it's weird that you've seen that did you watch the game did you watch me no with all that Champions League on did you, wa- you watch it no I saw it on Twitter people kicking off about it and oh, I was right. like I, I agree right, thanks for the support um, no problem because the rules stated that if the player if the goalkeeper has his hands on the ball and is challenged wasn't challenged but that was my point. It, it, the guy, the, the striker wasn't even facing that. He didn't know. He was he just standing up. <laughs> but it was classed as a challenge. Ridiculous. It's a goal, isn't it? Yeah. It, they won the game comfortably either way, didn't they? So yeah. Not a drama. Stoke were pony and Swansea were, were pretty good. Um, but it should have been a goal. And their managed, Stoke manager was had a valid point. of the, At that point, they was probably on top. was the only point in the game that was on top so and it, it matters that. It. it does matter that doesn't it when you're on top in a game and you have four, five, six chances don't put them away then the opposition against the run of play sometimes go and get one it, it games hinge it. on that don't it could have changed it uh, but uh, apparently it, Keith Stroud the ref made the right call if you haven't seen it have a look at it because it's an interesting one I've never come across that before and but the, what we were talking about is what would have happened if he'd have knocked the ball off his off the defender's 
head or shoulder. Would it, have, it would have counted, I'm guessing. If the rules are saying that he disallowed it because it was a challenge, even though it clearly wasn't, then yeah, surely. So, so it's... Well, that, was, that was a weird one. I well, think there was one for Rotherham this week as well, where uh, uh, a lad's handled it in the D and he's given a pen. He's done that to block and it. No pause. And no pause. And no pause. How long? What are we on? Two minutes. Um, you're handling stuff in the D, and um, but yeah, no, I don't know. I did see that one actually. Is it a cross? That was a shot from the edge of the box. All oh, right. I seen another one where someone crossed it. Elbow. Um, I don't know. We're wild. We're wild with the rules right now. I have the the dives that United have been getting hit with. Scandalous. Mm-hmm. Scandalous. If there's a couple of things we can guarantee on the show, it's we all know we're going to talk about Yapstam and Nicholas Cage, Neil Malpai. Straight off the bat, right? Nicholas Cage reckons he can remember being in the fucking. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Um, you're going to bring everything back to Manchester United, and I'm going to take it back away. Cool. And we'll go straight from there. We'll just bounce around straight. So can you just tell everyone if they haven't seen it what? Nicholas Cage has said this week. Nicholas Cage, probably not even prompted, because he's that off his melon. Do you reckon he's made the statement just I off reckon his own he back walked up to a reporter who was said. asking people if they preferred cats or dogs, right? Yeah. He's just walked up and gone, I can remember being in the womb. And they've gone, Is that Nicholas Cage? He's done some mad DMT trip or something to to, to even get there. <sighs> Maybe. How good would it be if he could though? But do you know what? That's, that line is more believable than any acting he's ever done in his fucking life. <laughs> so I believe him. I can just imagine your melon when you read that. It has I to, didn't... Do you uh, what? Thank you to the 87 people that sent me that article. But, <laughs> have you seen this? I have now, yeah. Do you know what the thing is, though? It had to be him that said it as well, wasn't it? Wouldn't be another actor. Can you ever see Robert De Niro going... Do you know what? I can actually remember being in the womb. What? Can you though, Nick? <laughs> that thing you can. What, did he, what do you remember about it? What kind of memories you got? I really struggle for like what happened like a month ago and he can remember that. What's your earliest memory? Oh, don't. Get, I think I can remember watching my dad play today. in Sunday League when I, I must have been three or four. And it was raining, obviously. And when you hit the slug? Oh, I was like 22 then. <laughs> yeah, you know you can die that. Like I found out a lot so later you, you can die basically that. was playing champ man and then you went out and had a slug come back to see how your team would do no, as, we, an adult, <laughs> as an adult <laughs> we were uh, we were having a party in my mum and dad's house we're in the garden we're drinking and my okay, mate, at least at least alcohol was involved. Yeah. It weren't like you just no, did just it. like Arr. let's mull no a slug. No one would be surprised if you just went. Oh, well, that's a slug. Wonder so how that tastes like. I got a mate Stu, known in my entire life, and he's got this thing of however old we are. He goes, I've known you for forty whatever. He, however long, however old we are, he's known me for that long because he has. And his the whole thing is. I've never known you back down from anything. I've known you for 38 years, never known you back down from anything. Eat that slug. That's oh, it, the whole... So you, you can be got on that? <laughs> and I've just thrown him that out. <laughs> Jeez. I've missed on so, so many opportunities. That has led to some horrendous decisions and some hilarity at the same time. But yeah, that's, that's why I ate a slug. Uh, don't know where it was. I think we was at Nicola, Nicolas Cage being a fucking liar. <sighs> yeah, or, or me doing anything because I pay a pressure. That's where we was. So next time we're on the road. <laughs> You've only known me for two years, though. It, I don't think I, you get to say I've known you for 30 odd years. It doesn't matter. You don't back down from anything. You don't know that, though. So much stuff that I, that I can think of. <laughs> not, if you, like, if you've <laughs> ate a slug, if you've bit into a slug, there's not much you won't do. I only found out that on as, the list. There's actually, like, people die from that. That's I didn't really realise that, like, you list, die from that. that. What's up with your face? Fucking hanging. <laughs> fucking hanging. And he's right as well, because it, it is one of the worst things I've ever heard someone do. But, but why is then escargo like, one of the most dearest things you can have? Is that just people having a flex? What was that? You don't eat the shell. It literally went crunch. I heard it. 
I'm not, I, 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 I can't answer that either. None of that stuff. Like the way you eat the tentacles. None of it should be eaten. Why not? So, the world was supposed to end. Yeah, disappointing, wasn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck know. all happened. But it's not the no, first time. Like, if people are going turbo, like, so you had... Uh, people in Israel was going to sacrifice some red heifers to to bring about the next Messiah or, or something. You Did had, that happen? Do we know if it happened? I don't even know. Okay. You had Large Hadron Collider, which always smells a bit like... Do we have to, lads? Done it. That scares me, that. I don't know why we have to smash atoms like that. What are we trying to do? We're trying to create antimatter or black holes. But then they made black holes, but they're not stable, are they? So they just But you know what again. makes what what's why what I'm scared about it? Because there's been that many Marvel films about it. Yeah. That like it's like they've gone. We we are gonna. This is gonna happen. And there's probably at least four or five of them scientists going. I'll finish this. Yeah, and just don't bother. Because even like, have you seen Oppenheimer the film? No, not yet. Well, even like when they were doing that, they had no idea what the yield of this was going to be when they... Like, they might have gone kaboom and the whole world might have gone crack in half. They had no idea. But this no is idea. what I don't understand is every time they fire up that collider thing, one time might just be a... Might make a black hole big enough to go and suck us in. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> the noise was so unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> but, but did it give you a good visual? Ah, uh, yeah, and I don't want it. But I've seen a video where they was they said that the the CERN collider thing had been turned on, and there was a big hole in the sky, <laughs> which might be a black or it might not be. There was like a big circular black hole over like I don't know, it's like Switzerland, Switzerland or somewhere, and I'm like, well, yeah, we don't know, do we? It could be a blag, it could be a little AR, I'm sure it wouldn't take long for someone to just f make that. Or, there could have been a hole, quite clearly. That might Where be how you create it? new dimensions, like you well, have what, no idea, do you? Well, why, why, why is it not alright just to go through life like we do, and just go, alright, alright, do your shopping, do a bit of work, and then watch the footy on the weekend, go to bed, and do it all again. Why have we got to make another universe? Right. Have you heard, there might, I don't even know if this is true. Someone who's a, a, a police officer might be able to tell me this. But there's a rumour in there, or there's this sort of expectation that driving barefoot is illegal. Have you heard that before? Fuck, is it? I've heard driving barefoot is illegal, right? I can't drive my car barefoot, but you can crash fucking atoms into <laughs> each other at the speed of light and this no one's what, asked. This is what I'm saying. The, the, like, that's that's got to be more of a worry. Isn't yeah. It? I'm perfectly up. Stop that with your leg, you absolute lunatic. Because one day, when, that, when, when, when the sky opens up and all sorts of them fucking big flying things come through it, evil as fuck, because we've watched the films. Yeah, they're not here to give out, like, gift vouchers for HMV, are they? It'd be great if they did, though, but they're not going to be, are they? Be, you get a gift voucher for HMV now, you'd be like, oh, what did it even sell? Is it even still going? Or is it done at Woolworths? I don't know. They're coming for something, aren't they? Let's be honest. And it's not going to be great. So why don't we keep it closed? What, yeah. what are you doing? What, what, why, are you, why are you doing it? I'd love to have some. He's literally just, just causing it. Yeah. Like, we'll see what Listen, happens. Listen, because it blows my mind the sort of people who watch this. We had a guy reach out to me and Ronnie when we was in America. He's like, oh, I work at the um, Jet Propulsion lab, lab in NASA. The Bob Lazar? No, it wasn't Bob Lazar. No. And then he was like, do you want to come and do a tour of NASA? And we were like, yeah, we do. But we got there too late, so we couldn't do it. Um, so I'm just going to put it out there. If you work at CERN, can we come? Pause. To the CERN. Do they do day trips? Like an all-access pass. We don't yeah. need, even need all-access. We just need to put our head in. And put your mad fingers as well. It's, just, it's loads of machinery and big tunnels. You don't actually see anything. It's not like you see them just mullering into each other. It's like, but do we want to go? With, do we want to be that close to it? What a blag it'd be as well, though, if a guy's like, oh, I'm smashing atoms together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't see him, though, because atoms. What a blag. He's absolutely had everyone's pants down, hasn't he? Yeah, but I, listen, I ain't trying to get too close to anything. Like that, really. Might be that time they set it off. 
Well, we're in Germany in the summer. We're only over the road. We can literally go <laughs> over oh, to Switzerland. If you're going to do all that, just wait till after the Euro- wait till after that the next World Cup. Because <laughs> I want to watch that. So wait till after that, then do all your atom colliding. Do whatever. Then there was an eclipse. And NASA was like, hey, we don't know what happens during eclipses, so we're going to fire a lot of rockets at the moon just to see. <laughs> yeah, NASA... There was probably more technical stuff to it than that, but that was generally the gist of what you they know, were doing. As the older I'm getting, I'm, I'm starting to dislike NASA a lot. <laughs> a lot. NASA's becoming like the Nicolas Cage to you, to me. The, what they do in NASA, what, what do you do? What do you do? You don't even, you're not even the best at firing rockets up there now. <laughs> you don't do anything. You just lie to people. Well, the geezer that we spoke to, his job was... He was uh, a plumber. Let me tell you. He was a plumber blagging you, but carry on. No, he weren't. Well, he could have been. But they was, they had the, he was the ones that were controlling the Mars rover, and he had like a, a copy of the Mars rover because they have to program all of the movements into it, in, and they had it like just going around his office. No. So, make, cause then obviously so they what have does to the send Mars it rover do then? It was like a go-kart, like an like a electronic car, like an what RC for? car. What was he wanting to just taking pictures of Mars and that. What, what's the point? He's just wasting everyone's money. You're wasting all the money. Because Elon Musk wants to come make Because a... he wants to colonise Mars. Yeah. Well, let him fund it and do that. And, then, yeah. and let him... T- tell us what you found. Reptilian. <laughs> what was it? It was dusty. Dusty and it's red. <laughs> I don't know why we've got to mess with stuff. I don't, I don't get the, it. The amount of dough and all to go. The amount of dough to go there. Is ins- like you probably could go, Joe. You know what if we just fucked off trying to go to Mars? We'd probably solve homelessness and hunger. Oh, well. And they're like, fuck that, I want to go on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what why we have to do that. Everyone? What about I want a selfie on Mars? The, the, it's, they won't stop as well until something bad happens. Um, yeah, so they've, they've tried to end the world with another go at making a multiverse. <laughs> Do you, I, actually, do you think they just watch the films and go, we can do it? We're really intelligent and we want to, like Spider-Man in the multiverse, they've gone, that looks dead cool. Should we I make wonder it? how many times science fiction has given actual science, because it seems to be a lot of military tech and stuff, doesn't it, is always, I wonder how many times they've been watching something and gone, but we could do that. And then had a go and actually been able to and figure it out. It. Because they, they think like, there's all those films from like the 1900s where they did actually send rockets to the moon and stuff, isn't there? And I wonder how, at, at what, what point yeah, people were like... Or, chicken or the egg situation, isn't it? Yeah. At what point someone... Yeah, and I bet there's been some stuff where people have been working on, especially with all the AI and the robotics and stuff like that now, because people have got good imaginations and they've made stuff. I bet there's people been working on stuff and then it's come out in like iRobot and they've gone, did we tell them about iRobot's that? iRobot's that's messed up that, isn't it? Have you seen the other one as well, where the guy makes a robot to come in, but it's called someone help me out? Ex Machina. Yeah. Don't know why I knew that was what he was on about. Yeah, you knew. You seen it then? It's a great film. Jeez, though, man. It's scary, isn't it? Like, we could just be walking through City Centre, you'd never know. You'd never know. That's a good film. That's, that's one of the last films that I watched and went, wow. If you've not seen I'm that. I'm going to have to watch Ex Machina again. That was a, that's a good film. It's, that's a scary one. They're more scary than the scary films. Do you reckon? 100%, because that could happen. Or be happening now, and we don't know. I like the films that are, are a trip like that, where you actually don't know how... Was that a blag, or was that a blag, or is all of it a blag, or yeah. is none of it a blag? Like, do you go Shutter Island? Four good questions. Like, Shutter Island. Shutter Island. You What's could- happening with Shutter Island? We watched Shutter Island, right, as a team. Not everyone, but the majority of the team in the in the Euros in 2016. Melons were gone for two days. But he was arguing about it. Couldn't concentrate nah, nah, on nah, training. Nah, nah, nah. He was never there. Nah, Don't they, know how we got they, through they, the next they, game. They hooked him into it. Like, he was never there. He, he was a cop. No, nah, no, nah, he wasn't a cop. And there was, he was a, a patient. Oh, mate. It was like we're warming up for games in the Euros going, <laughs> but but was he there? <laughs> <laughs> Lads are like taking it down on the chest and popping it up and just going, No! Do you think, <laughs> I reckon, I've got a new theory about it. Our, our melons were gone. That's a That was a great film. That's one of the. I need to watch that again. That is one of the best. Isn't there a link between? What's the link between? Is it Inception and something else? They they reckon that Inception and Shutter Island is the same. Is it Shutter Island um, and Inception universe? Is it? Yeah. Two good films, man. Because he's dreaming in Inception, and they think that he's 
in a dream in Shutter Island or some shit. We, the we, need, we need to watch these things together for the, for the guys and, and break it down. Play, pause, talk about it. <laughs> we just don't probably, have the time to do way more numbers on our podcast. Still, one hundred percent. Have you seen when you got like people breaking down films? And it just it, it's good when they get like experts to break down, or they get an astronaut on to go. Oh well, actually, this isn't how it happens in space. I like the military ones where they do them. Couple of fuckwits just talking about whatever. It does way better. Steve Nash <laughs> breaking down Shutter Island <laughs> is that is that be our best episode? Have you seen Roadhouse yet? Nah. I think I'm, I Neither of them. I don't know if I'm waiting for you to watch it with you or I'm just haven't had a chance yet. So we could do this in the Euros. We could fill in all we could do a year's worth of content at the Euros just watching none shit of it films. Football. <laughs> none of it football. <laughs> oh, what do you want to watch? France winning it. Great, yeah, cool. Just just <clears> the <throat> just the content of just messed up films. Interstellar. Drinking some of them big two pinters like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out what the hell's happening in Inception. It's the Why future. is the swoon on the sofa? <laughs> Christopher Nolan, he's a fucking crank in there. Well, I think. I've had a theory forever. Like <clears throat> Stephen King, all these people, have we got eyes on them? If it's me, I'm a three-letter agency. The people I'm watching are the ones that dream up this wild shit. Christopher Nolan needs to be under surveillance. <laughs> because who, who thinks of that? When, in, in the last week, have you Do you write them or, or just direct them, though? I, I don't know. Whoever thought of it, then? Whoever thought of this wild shit? Or do the scientists go, well, make a film about that, because that's what we're working on in the next 25 years. So just get them prepped on it. Isn't it weird how there's sort of like, what's the, what's the phrase? Um... It, when it's a coincidence and it's it's but it's not you haven't copied it's sort of like you've both arrived at the same conclusion at the same time I can't remember what it is it's just like no, we get the drift yeah whereas like you saw Armageddon comes out at the same time Deep Impact comes out well one of them didn't see the other one and then make a film it takes two years to make a fucking film no it's so it. like they both come out at the same time you're like did you just both happen upon the same idea? There was a lot of vampire films all come out at the same time. I don't think you time. should ever put Deep Impact in the same category as Armageddon anyway. Wait, why? Because it's not as good. It's better in some aspects. Like? Well, it's half believable for the one. The crowd are shaking their head. <laughs> the cr- fuck the crowd. Deep Impact is a, is a more realistic film. Armageddon is a cartoon, isn't it? I'm going to just let you get this out of the way because the, the, it's but not... But either way, it's you've got a, a couple patch. of like the it's same... It's not a patch on it, mate. It's basically the same film, written different. No, it's not. Armageddon and Deep Impact. Let me just pull up Deep Impact. It's that <clears> unmemorable <throat> that I don't remember it. Elijah well. Wood's in it, I think. Is it? None of these have even seen it. Morgan Freeman. Mm. I think he's the president, obviously. He is the go-to movie president, isn't he? He must have played the president or God more than any other role he's ever he's had. He's God, isn't he? <clears throat> it's not. It's not. It's not. It's nowhere near Armageddon level. But it's a more believable film. I'm not saying it's better. Nowhere near it. I don't want to talk about the but fact that But let's send Ben Affleck them. and fucking horse to space. You're, you're basically comparing KDB and like, I don't know. The uh, Trundle. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. <laughs> if you want to go do that, comparison, that suits. You never played with him, did you? Was the, did he leave before you joined? I did play with him, yeah, but he came back. <clears throat> oh, did he? Uh, to, he came back to Swansea right at the end, yeah. I imagine he's a good lad on a smash. I don't think we ever went out, but he's a great lad, just always. Real good guy. I think in his heyday, he was. He was a there. problem. Yeah. <laughs> For defences, should we say? Yeah. He's got some wild goals, hasn't he? Do you know what's what's weird is when you look back at all the the highlights of Ronaldinho, and he has he can match. It's out, it sounds weird, but he can no, match. We grew up watching soccer, him, didn't we? So we know he can match. <coughs> he had his own bit on the, highlight reel. on the uh, showboat, didn't he? He was on there all the time. One of his favourite ones where he bends down to uh, to sort of readjust the penalty, but takes it because <laughs> keepers it's just like if he's messing fuck. around, then <clears throat> yeah. Do you think that, why do you think there's no entertainers these days in football? I think academies um, train them out. I think. No flavour. They want Michael Owens, don't they? Just fucking bores. 
he, he was he was good. He was a good footballer. Have you been on the piss, Michael Owen? Can't say I've. No. Could, would you want to? Not particularly. Guys, see, you can't have this conversation because the fuck has never read a book or watched a film in his life. How do you know that? He tweeted it. Oh. Someone's like, what's your favourite film? He's like, never watched a film. It's impossible. Well, how much is he missing out on an Armageddon and Shutter Island? <laughs> start there, Mike. <laughs> Just start there. Shutter Island might seem off. <laughs> Imagine a room of Owen Hargreaves, Michael Owen, and who else we can put in there? Keon. You said it. Uh, <laughs> oh, Martin Keon, mate, watching Shutter Island. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> He'd have that many questions. He'd have to keep stopping it. Every It'd be annoying. You get annoying with it, wouldn't it? <laughs> Wait, there's so many questions. Yeah, we've got the same question. Do you know that one? <laughs> I don't know. Let's wait and see what you're asking I'm me. I'm watching for. it too. Fucking hell. Fuck. Fuck me. Gogglebox should be me, you, Michael Owen, Owen Hargreaves, Martin Keown, Inception, Shutter Island, Rona Stella. Yeah, but yeah. Do you know what? Yeah. So we should do it in series. We should start with the Christopher Nolan lot because that's just a, an absolute wild, wild one. Like the, the the least mental one he's done is Dunkirk, which is still he's fucked with the timeline in I'm a mad way. That. Yeah. It's like he's like, oh, you think a film should go from one to th- through like two, three to ten? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna start at ten. Do a bit of two, nine, one, five, seven. Like just your melons all over the gap. <laughs> and by the way, we're gonna have Tom Hardy in it. He ain't gonna say a word. <laughs> But he's done that before, hasn't he? Tom Hardy, obviously, when he was playing Bane. They had Patrick Stewart, I think it is, doing the voice. Did Tom Hardy not do the voice for Bane? No. I don't know, that's news it to me. It was Patrick Stewart. That's Patrick Stewart, bald fella? Yeah. Makes sense. Is that... Do do you think, can we fact check that? Do you think that? that Tom Hardy had the ability to because play the voice? Can someone fact check that? Because I don't know. <laughs> but it does make sense. Now, you've said it. Spence, what have we got? <clears throat> it's also incredible how you can be five foot. Tom Hardy did the voice. What, Tom Hardy did his own voice? Mm-hmm. Are you fucking sure? No, we've got to check now. Yeah. Control freak don't believe nothing, nothing mm-hmm. no one says. Why is Tom Hardy how I came up with Bane voice YouTube video? Yeah, but so, is it him going. Now you're going to argue Patrick the point. Now you're going to argue the point. Did so just leaving Patrick it. Stewart. What? So you're wrong. Um, Patrick Stewart. I didn't say that was like. Uh, who would have thought that was a good shot? <laughs> you know what's wild about Bane as well? Such a good character. But how can you be five foot four and in the film you look about six <clears> foot eight, <throat> massive? Then you're tiny. He weren't passing no piss test, was it, for about a good couple of years after that? Jacksville, Tennessee. Good film, though. Great actor. Well, yeah. Has he been in a bad film? Or is it bad because of him, in any sense? There's none where it, I think he's well, fucking took me out of this Even like a Venom, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be asked to watch, but he does a good job in it. I've not seen it. Well, it it's shit, but he does a good job in it. So we're gonna, who are we putting up there? Him, Nick, Nick Cage. What do you mean? As good actors. Top as, actors. as good actors. Tom Hardy, Nicolas Cage. Denzel. I watched Unstoppable last night. It's probably the worst film Denzel's in. Yeah. It's not bad because of him, no, it's just shit. Yeah, but he's even managed to revive all the equalizers, <clears throat> which I think that like talk about a shallow storyline. Which has been done a million times. And I enjoy all of them because it's Denzel. <laughs> but you wouldn't really watch it if it was Jason Statham. Oh, in a in a black suit with a black tie on. In every film. Yeah. I mean, there's times for those kind of films. Jason, would you like to come in at three o'clock for your wardrobe? Why? I'm wearing a fucking black if suit If I'm on a tie. plane, I can put a Jason <coughs> Statham on. If I'm kicking by, I don't really need to pay attention to it. Jason Statham goes in the, I like him. And I actually like him better off his films. Like, when you just see the, the behind the scenes stuff of him. He looks like you can go and have a beer with him. I haven't seen the behind the scenes. Yeah, I Jason. think Jason Statham looks like a good lad. But, let's be honest, 
He's still, he's still, he's still, very samey, aren't they? He's still better than Nick Cage because all he does is just play himself. But it's still better than Nick oh, Cage. Do you know what? I'm gonna have to bring up the the Nicolas Cage films because you've right, got a real issue with him. No, I don't mind some films Nicolas Cage is all in. All I know is he did that one on the motorbike where his his head's on fire or something. Ghost Rider. Yeah, even Mendes. All that about unbelievable. Face Off was a good film. Not because of him. It was a good film, though. Not because of him. Horrendous. Like, him and John Travolta are having a cocaine act off, honestly. <laughs> it's just, who can overact the shit out of this the most? Face of Conair. I put the phone down. I forgot. Is Conair. it a good film? Brilliant. Is he overacted it 15 Brilliant out of 10? film. Conair is a classic. How many times is he whispering I it? I forgot. Fucking I forgot relax. It it. Now we stop talking about him. He's in loads of good films. Gone in 60 Seconds is one of my favourite films. Oh, there's three real good ones. Yeah, but Shut he overacts the, the shit out what, of it. I think that he remembers it now. Now I think he remembers being in the womb. <laughs> now I've changed my opinion completely. Con Air and Gone in 60 Seconds, he's telling the truth. What, who's the top actors then? Who, who, is, who are they putting in a film and you go, I'm watching that film, I don't know what's going A million percent. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Um, I, I might even throw Matt Damon in there. Yeah, because what did I watch the other day? He was really good in it. Oh, everything. Oh fuck! What? No, what did I watch? And you got the pair of them in the Departed, which is unbelievable. Fuck! What, well, I watched a good film the other day. What was it? Martian. No, but I quite like that one. I mean, I don't think most people. Is that the one where he's on Mars? Yeah, so. Mars this is awesome. Yeah, but there's not many people that could hold that film down. Apart from Solo. Yeah. Basically, you did a play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did a play. Good luck with that. I don't know, but he was good in it. So how about that? Do you want to describe it? I can't remember what film I watched, Stephen. Describe the film. I can't. I, I don't Is know. it in the future? Is it in the past? Nah. Is he wearing sandals? Is he shirtless? Oh, Ford versus Ferrari. See brilliant. That? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, he's brilliant. Brilliant. It's a good film. Good film. That's another good Christian Bale. Brilliant actor. Yeah. You put in Christian Bale, Tom Hardy, Damon, DiCaprio. You put them in your film, it ain't a bad film. You put Dens in there as well. Yeah. Nick's not making it. No. Who's the little bald fella in uh, Con Air? John Malkovich. Yeah, he does well in that. He's not... He's, he's, he's good in that He plays film, creepy though. really well, doesn't he? Yeah, he's good in that. Believable creepy. Buscemi? Is that the other guy? Steve Buscemi, film? yeah. Yeah. Good film, that. <clears throat> Kind of now we're talking about it. Now we're talking. Look, this is that, the undeniable that might thing. Black Hawk Pe Down. Does people that rival Black Hawk Down, can't it? Does it fuck? Right? People fuck. might go. Tom, uh, Nick Cage is in really good films. He is in really good films. But he takes you out of all of them. Look at The Rock. Great film. But you watch it and you watch Nicolas oh, Cage. Geez. You want to jump through the fucking screen and hit him. I, I think we've got to put him up there now. No, you don't. Maybe you get him in, and maybe what you do is you can't you focus say, on his overacting, and everyone else looks you're, better because you're, of him. So you're saying he's like the version of Lucas Leiva in a Liverpool team? Yeah, just gets carried. Everybody else looks he, better because he's in the team. I didn't realise he could pass. <laughs> I think you're doing him a disservice, Nicholas. I, I think I've studied him and analysed him think, really well. Do you think you don't like him personally? Is that part of the problem? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Is it Wogan that he comes on? He's what? wearing a full leather suit. He does a, a rock. He does a. Job, right, I'm going to show you this, and you're going to say, "I'll right. give you John Travolta." But like, why is he? Is he another one? And what's the what's the thing where he's laughing? Have you seen Nicolas Cage laughing? Where he can't stop himself from laughing? Can we put this on the actual show? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this. It's Wogan. It was Wogan. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I got it. Go this one. <laughs> That's face off, isn't it? <laughs> Is that not face off? I don't think so. <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the video say? What's the title of the video? Just laughing. Nick Cage laughing. Does it not say in... Because I'm pretty sure it's face-off. See? Overacting to fuck. 
<sighs> anyway, it's been some He's never looked at a script and I gone, did not I'll do this subtle. When you say like Nicolas Cage, I'm just thinking of the Ghost Rider thing. I'm not thinking of all them top films we just like The Rock. Come on, man. Again, top film. Uh, not top because of him. Like literally the start of that film, he breaks open some of the poison VX gas, his suit rips, they have a fucking absolute meltdown at the lab that he works at. He goes home because mm, half day if you get a bit of poison gas on you. And he's sitting there like this in his chair when his business walks in. She's like, oh, have you had a good day? He's like, no, have I had a good day? With a guitar. Have I had a good day? Oh yeah, I nearly died. Like just shut up, you fucking dick. Did get he, have, a text a on did the he have a vest on or something as well? No, oh, probably. You'd have been like, um, I'm coming home from work, why? Well, nearly died. Drunk pizza. Like, do you know what I mean? Be normal. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> fuck Nick Cage. Honestly, fuck Nick Cage. I hope he makes the thumbnail for this episode. <laughs> yeah. Just that what that that clip. What would you do what would you do if I went, I'm going on uh I don't know, like the one show and I entered like like Nick Cage and, and the Wogan. Do you think me mates? I'd wonder if me, BBC me needs mate, to start drug testing me people. Me mates find the bag or something. Like that. <laughs> He's done a roly poly and jumps up in the air. Wearing leather. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have been like. A bit weird, isn't it? People would have been throwing a text around. That's okay. <laughs> I'd have been like. I don't I think so. He's not been the same since that Dave Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happens. Ah, where are we going with it anyway? No, I don't know. It's about it, isn't it? I, I've, I've tried to look at like UFO news, right? UAP, because <laughs> it's gone a UFO little bit. News. It's gone a little bit. I bet there's a daily UFO. I bet there's a bet there's a daily UFO news. There's we, a lot. This is what we need to there's do. Like so you branched out. and got on filthy fellas this week. Looks like it's gone down well. Not with the Liverpool fans. They're such a good humoured bunch. Um, I think we should try and branch out and get on. There must be daily UFO news that you can just have us two melons on. There. I don't know. There's a lot of podcasts and stuff like that. I don't know <clears> if, the, if there's shows, but we should be on them. Joe, you know I watched this recently as well, Independence Day. Do you know the Will Smith one? No. Will Smith looks about 12 in it, by the way, as well. But it was like 30 well, years ago. It's a classic as well. While we're at it. it yeah, great film. Now, I'm sure got- it's the alien in it, though, when you watch it back. Pathetic. It looks like they had a thirty-five pound budget, doesn't it? It's pathetic. Is that is that paper mache? Um, what was I saying? The the old fella, the the crop dusting guy. I'm I'm pilot, that drunk guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pilot. I'm yeah. fly. <laughs> <laughs> like, fly it, like, <laughs> this is an F fourteen. It's basically the same crack on. Yeah, you fl- you drive a car, right? Yeah, it'd be right. These melons not right though. But like, the thing is. He gets abducted by aliens, doesn't he? And his whole thing is, I was abducted by aliens and they fucking diddled me and, and blah, 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 right? He gives a speech towards the end of it where he's like, I just want to say, got abducted by aliens 20 years ago, finally glad that I can go and give my own back to him a little bit. And everyone's like, fucking oh, abducted by aliens. You've literally been invaded by aliens. What, so he it, was clearly fucking telling the truth, so wasn't it? So in, because uh, I can't remember. So in, in the film, they're still rolling their eyes. Yeah, whilst like they're hovering above them. Uh, yeah, like we're literally we're in a debrief now, or in a briefing even, about to go and attack an alien spaceship that's over the White House, and you're rolling your eyes at my guy who said he got abducted by aliens. Have you ever heard of a guy called Whitley Stryber? Have you? Yeah. <laughs> He basically is that story. So he... Apart from... Fl- I'm, I'm pal- he, apart from he tells the same story. He's been abduct- abducted a number of times. Look, if you're aliens, why are you abducting Whitley in the middle of nowhere? So Get it's, Beyonce. It's a weird, Do you know what I mean? It's and then weird, Beyonce's got a fucking song about it. It is a weird... It's weird that Whitley was... That they chose him, isn't it? And then went back to him. Because they're, they're, they're flying around the, the wherever and they go... Where's that Whitley fella again? I don't know, not, not sure, I don't get Seven it. Seven billion people on Earth. Well, maybe they've always been here and they're still here. In and amongst us. So we've got like a couple of factors here. Could be an ex machina situation where the robots are amongst us. Or the aliens could be amongst us. Or neither. And I'm open to all of it. Because there is definitely some people I meet and I think you, you can't be human. <laughs> you you cannot be a homo sapien just with the way you've approached me and that conversation that interaction was so weird 
that I think it was AI. Been pro programmed, yeah. I could see that. Like the other day I'm in the petrol station, guy puts it, he's already put his petrol in, I'm putting mine in. He drives it to go out, reverses all the way back in with the passenger window open, which weren't enough, but because I didn't want to speak to him, I kind of hid behind the pump. <laughs> I was like, please just don't. He jumps out the car and goes, Ashley Williams, and I go, yeah. And he goes, I'm Welsh. And I went, okay. And he went, it's allowed. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and, I, and then I went, you too, shut my hand. And he went, what are you doing? And I went, I'm putting petrol in like you did. And he went, all right, and drove off. And I just thought, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> that can't be. That cannot be another human being speaking to another human being. But I, basically, they want a connection. He's probably no. grown up watching you, idolised you oh from afar. Oh my gosh, okay, so the guy just wants who's, a connection. Who's your, would you do, would you jump out and go, yep, Stam? Would I? Dutch. Dutch. What, what are you up to? I'm doing none of that. And that's what I mean, because you're, you're a human. I'm also a little miserable. So a I'm bit, not doing slightly. it for those reasons. But um, what I'm saying is, is who, who, who does that? I got back into the car just so confused. Like, what was weird? Like, it was like well, well, Shutter Island, I couldn't work out. It took me like 10 minutes just going, what a weird interaction that was. Did you pay for your petrol? Yeah, I went in and then I got back in the car, yeah. Right. I so, didn't steal it. So, Ronaldo, I did once Ronaldo work. went for something tweet the other day. And, um, Ronaldo what? Ronaldo went for something tweet, tweet the other day. And um, didn't pay. I don't think you should... Just like, left. You, you are snitching right now. Yeah. Just thought it'd be funny. Did the big goodbye to him and everything. Did it on purpose. I think he's going back to... Fix it. You won't. I used to work in a petrol station. People used to steal petrol all the time. Do me in. Really? Did it really do your head in? Yeah, because I felt like it was on me. I was only like 16 or something. And then what they used to do was, I, I didn't notice that they'd like, I would have blocked the number plate and they've got none on the back. And the next thing I know, the, the hose is dangling and they're like speeding out and I'm like, that's just another 62 quid there. And, and this, this is... When's this? 2001, 2002? Yeah, about, yeah. 2000. So yeah, probably, you're, probably You're about. talking like, it's only like 60p a litre at the time as well. Yeah, I know. Whereas now, it's almost justified now. I don't know. It's just, I, it was just weird for me. And it was always, I always took it personally that I didn't, I didn't, I weren't vigilant enough on the forecourt. But obviously, I'm guessing that you know I was dog shit at being a petrol. What person. petrol station did you work at? Shell. Shell. Sorry. So I'm just trying to think. Shell. What are you trying to think? Shell were late to the game in making the petrol stations like a big fucking fairground. I don't like, know. Like BP was the early doors one. It was, with it, like, you it was go a, in and get like a, a fucking one. flapjack and stuff. It was, no, it was a good one. Was it? Yeah, it was a good one. Did food and all that. Like. Yeah, it did food and stuff. Um, but I just, most of the day, I was thinking about something else. And really just beep, beep, go. Uh, and Saturdays, I just remember Saturdays were busy because everyone was getting the fucking lottery tickets. Loads of them, fucking loads. Is that still on, National Lottery? I don't know anyone who plays the regular National Lottery. Do Euro Millions. Which, by the way... You do do Euro Millions. I do Euro Millions. Do you play it now? No. Well, I don't know. I've got Euro Millions don't. in the back, don't worry about it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, do the Euro Millions. And I win the Euro Millions, I would say... Once a month, at, at least, right? And I've just got this. I'm going to put it out there because I can't be the only person with what this. What you win? How, like how much? What's going well, on? I'll tell you that in a minute. That's part of my problem that I've okay. got with them. So you get an email from Euro Millions that says, congratulations, you have won the Euro Millions. And don't tell me it doesn't tell you how much. Ash. So you know how much it is because they always go big on it. It's like 70 million, 100 million, but, but something I'm, like that. I'm guessing it doesn't have to be the top <clears throat> end. You could, have, you could get that 700 grand or something. No. Maybe. No. Ash, what? I'm winning three quid and I'm getting an email for it. But what I'm saying is, is there different amounts throughout the thing? The oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could be quite a lot. It could be a little bit. But here's the thing, Ash. Every single time I've got that email, I know what I'm spending my 100 mil on. Like, in the time it takes for me to go, oh shit, I've won the Euro Millions. Brrr, it's not but, even loaded but yet. But also, it's already not, sold. I know where I'm going to And not even. Like how we all would just think, I'm gonna go and get this. You, are, you're probably down to like the pennies now. You, <laughs> it, you have earmarked where all of that cash yeah, we have is a late going. Late start Monday. 
and then we're yeah, off yeah, back yeah. to work because I've blown it all this weekend. Like, listen, you're on millions. Can you put in the, the email subject... It should be a colour, I think. The writing should be in a colour. If it's, like, big, green. If it's shit, just do a red one. Like, you've won summer. Something like that. Probably won't oh, in a, You've won brackets, not the jackpot, relax. Fuck all brackets. Yeah. You've won fuck all, but if you want to collect it, it's that. Oh, it. tell me, you matched two numbers or a star or whatever the fuck it is. You've done, just tell me in the thing. You don't have to tell me the amount because I get maybe they want a bit of data protection or some shit. But just be like, calm your tits. It's not 100 mil. What do you do then? Do you go and collect it from the post office or something? No, because I play on the app online. So oh, okay. it just goes back into my Is account. that class as gambling? Yeah. Is it? Huh. Well, there you go. Yeah. I don't know why lottery is, is seen as not gambling because it, it's way more of a gamble in terms of the gamble than like, I would say, betting on a football match where you might have insight into, you know, or think you've got insight into at least. What was lot lottery? What was the other thing when we were kids? It was a national lot? lottery. Wasn't there like another a gambling, like another lottery thing that people the pools. did? Yeah. My dad used to do the pools. I think he won big on the pools. Is pools football? No. Yeah, so the pools, there was two lots of it. You used to you have put a little X in a box. spot the ball. Oh, yeah. They had the spot the ball thing, but they also used to basically, it was basically like an acker, I think. You put on like, I think you had to guess like the results of like five games or something. But it was big though back in the day. Big, big dog back in the day. But yeah, Euro Millions, just please stop it because like, I have mini heart attacks once a fucking month. Bastard. Don't I hope it. they laugh when they send it. All the people that have to send that, the £3.50 ones. <laughs> it's another one. It's another one. I know someone knows you as well. <laughs> Stephen Alson, <laughs> Manchester. That's <laughs> right. Like a City fan there, or there a Liverpool one, fan. There was one, I had six emails on one six times in one I'm like one of these has to be like one. a few big, grand at least big. fuck it was like if 18 you won, quid if you won, won, would you still film this if I won what the 100 mil yeah yeah would you yeah. just exactly as you are now just giving a fuck it doesn't change much you don't give really give a fuck as it is do you just give a fuck less yeah say more like, would you, that you you could then not have to cut shit out Right. You're at that stage now where you don't have to do this. You don't get paid for this. You do it because you enjoy, I enjoy it. it. Yeah. And I, I, well, and I would be the same. I'm also employed, though. Yeah, you are. You don't need to be, though, do you? Not really. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, <laughs> you don't have to be coy <laughs> about it. It is what it is. You had a successful career as a footballer yeah. in an era when they were paying out this, bits of shit loads. This hour of my week is one of the best ones. Because, <laughs> like, I enjoy the, the footage that comes out, but not half as much as the, the shit that doesn't come out in here. Here's the thing. I'm lucky enough to have found and ended up in a, a career where I generally do a lot of what I want to do. There's not a lot that I do that I don't really want to do. Not a lot. Do you know what I don't want to do You don't seem like that kind of guy. I, the thing that I dislike the most is doing, and this is funny because people have the complete 180 mentality of this. There's a lot of people who think that football media uh, make more money and do more views when they lose. I don't, because I'm not an overreactor to it. So I'm just wounded when we lose and devoured, and I don't want to do it then. That's the only time I don't want to do content. Shots fired. But make of that what you will. And I can, if you go and look at my channel, my biggest views are when United are winning. Actually, the next biggest thing is probably transfers. I don't do numbers when we lose. You got? Have you got any? We're getting out of here in a minute anyway, because that's <laughs> enough. But have you got any, anything, any young starlets that are going to be the next big thing? Because you haven't, you haven't dropped a dime on us for a while. Do you know what we did find oh. two years ago? Someone said to me, who's the next player going to break through at United? And I said, Kobe Maynou. That was a pretty good shout. And you know what will piss me off is I think you're lying, right? And, uh, and your minions will come and on the fucking comments and go, we did say that. Uh, episode whatever, we did say that. Yeah, I can send you the link. You probably said that about the whole of that youth team that, that year. Well, no, because it was like someone says one player you think is going to break into the team. Boom, yeah. All right, have you got anyone else from Bolivia? 
<laughs> Seventeen-year-old Bolivia. I was mm. away last week, right, in Portugal, and there wasn't much on the telly. But there was loads of footy, local. Like they had like Serie A, the Portuguese league, some other weird games, and they had this tournament on. So Chelsea were in it, and it, it must have been must have been under. 14s or under 15s and I don't know why it was on the TV and it, I think it was on like most days um, and I was what I was thinking I wonder if because I was watching a lot of it you know the time between swimming pool and dinner obviously you get your shower it takes two minutes you're waiting for everyone else it takes two hours so I'm watching the game and Shots fired. we all feel like we, all the men know exactly what I'm talking about and then, so I was watching the games and I thought I've probably done I've, I've watched 10 games though. like 20 minute matches and stuff well, no, there was like 70 minutes, 60 minutes. Oh, you minutes. mean over the course of the week you've got Yeah, yeah over the course of the week. So we've, we've done the same. I can say I've watched 10 games in a week. See, not hard, is it? Did you go to the stadiums, though, when you did it? That was my thing, yeah. It was, it was all in the stadium. Yeah. I haven't done that. There was a not a lot. This is the... Being in Greater Manchester, there's so many football teams to go and watch. I think... I think... No, it wasn't. I didn't have a foreign one in the middle of that. I thought it might have been when I went to Bilbao, but it wasn't. When are we going to get to one of them Euro Basketball League games where it goes oh, the fuck Oh, my God. Because I've, I've packed my flamethrower ready. <laughs> and it's just sitting there waiting. Because what's happening there? Have you ever seen Magic Kingdom in Florida on New Year's Eve? It's like that, just mid-game with the fireworks. There was one I just saw earlier. This is what annoys me about football in, in Britain. It is illegal to enter a football stadium. And there's no like, unless you're doing it as part of like an organised professional display. It doesn't say that. It just says it's illegal to be in a stadium, whether there's a match on or not. Being in a stadium at like 11 o'clock on a Tuesday morning, going to jail if you've got a flare or a smoke bomb. Now, obviously, there's ways around that because there's clearly like organised pyrotechnics that there are on the pitch. But it's, technically, it's illegal. So... What are the loopholes for that? So let's say you run like a, I don't know, a small football club and you would like maybe all of the fans in one end to have fucking flares and shit. Do they all need to be employed by the club and have done a safety certificate or some shit? Like, what's the script? I'm not sure, but knowing you how I know you, probably by the time I'm home, you'll have the, <laughs> the guidelines of that found. But when you see football matches in Eastern Europe, and I've been to some in Eastern Europe where the entire end looks like it's on fire, it's amazing. You would assume... Looking at that, there must be 3,000 people in hospital, the way English football treats that. It's amazing. Why can't we have that here? No idea. The, the atmosphere we've, in English we've done stadiums a whole episode is on this. shit. We've done a whole episode on it. Yeah, I don't know. No one's got the answer for it. Not happy. But yeah, I, I'm well up for that. Vinic has asked me to go out to a game in Serbia with him, which I am well up for doing. Didn't ask me. Um... But that's where we need to go and watch the basketball as well, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so can we do the two in one? It's, it's like and Serbia basketball. and Greece look like the, the maddest yeah. places for it, isn't it? Yeah, it's like yeah. Panathinaikos basketball. Something like that, yeah. But it See, looks like it's that, going off. It, some, some gaffes to go to there. Right, come on, wrap it up now. I don't know. I've got to go, mate. <laughs> do some shit. Righty. That's us, I guess. Enjoyed it. Uh, we don't know what the title of that is. It's probably going to be films slash nah, bollocks. Nah, they'll, they'll go, oh, we can't do that. We'll, we'll have to talk about football somehow. Uh, football it'll be, it'll be named like Atmosphere in Foreign Stadiums. <laughs> Which we did 14 seconds yeah, at the end. Not bad. I'd rather it be about Nicolas Cage. Uh, Watch Shutter Island if you haven't seen it and let us know what you think in the comments. Oh, if you've not seen it, yeah, don't watch us. Go watch Why that. don't we do that? Hit subscribe below. The button below. You, know, you watch Americans now and they go, hit that subscribe button below. Really helps the channel. Well, we're not asked. <laughs> oh, fucking don't. <laughs> we couldn't give a shit. Because we don't get paid anyway, so. See you next week. <laughs>